Yes, we are doomed to eternal confrontation. We've covered this. This is a roguelike. That's the point. Welcome back, everybody, to TD Worlds. Spoilers for the last episode, so, like, skip ahead 30 seconds. You don't want to hear anything about the last episode. All right, we're good. But we won! And that's exciting. But we got stopped after leaving the third... Uh, the third, uh, the third world. So, uh, according to the crystal down here, another few attempts and we'll break through the darkness because we've left cracks in it. But, uh, let's get tooled up for our next run here. Uh, I don't want anything from the armory. I'm just going to kind of hoard my little resources here, but let's see what the shop has to offer. I got 18 of these, uh, scraps here. Um, ooh, crystal auto essence pick up. Yes, please. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, extra shards at every level I can't afford, and best armor on low health I also can't afford. Let's start the run. I'm still rocking the slow towers, because in my opinion, those are the best, the easiest for us to uh, to use. And I forgot to transfer over my research on the... Uh... Oh, I can actually hit escape past this stuff? Alright, so let's surrender here, because I, I, I will lose nothing. Let me uh, want to... Continue, just... Yeah. Okay. Um, with each blow, the cracks in the darkness widen. One more time and you will surely break through. Why did the darkness resist so much? What is it hiding? Uh, kind of acting like we... Um, beat that round, but it didn't. But we didn't, so... Let me just transfer this. Uh, claim my reward. So that's an extra 3% damage to common enemies, and we'll research the last, uh, we'll work towards the last one. Killing basic enemies, 500 of them. Uh, all right, now let's go. Now I'm ready. And this cutscene we've apparently seen very many times before, so we'll just kind of skip past it here. It's all set up here. Sleeves rolled up here a little bit. And tower placement. Yeah, there, there, and uh, there. So I honestly thought last round was going to be a dud, and there are a few things that I would have done differently. Um, the big one I think I would have done differently is not taken the common upgrade, or the common uh, tower cost reduction. I think that uh, it was only 5% with only 1% improvements when we could have probably waited, gotten a better reward, actually place things down here. Uh, ooh! Projectile speed! Perfect! What is this? Crystal Essence Auto Pickup. So do I still have to put my mouse over it to pick up the essence? Uh, direction's unclear. Let's see here, 16% minus 60% projectile speed. Okay, well, we're still making progress towards that. Let's go, boys! So I think the first couple upgrades that you go for on a run should be dedicated towards overcoming your... whatever tower you selected shortcomings. If you pick the... Uh, normal tower and there are no shortcomings to make up, then I guess you really don't have to worry about it. Okay, another set of that antimatter stuff. Interesting. Um. Yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, I would have preferred a tower upgrade at this point, but looks like we might not be getting one quite yet. Should I be worried that these things are advancing so far? Possibly. Okay, no, we're still fine. Are we still fine? Okay, no, we're still good, okay. I may have uh, freaked out um, prematurely there. Uh, they will appreciate this back home. So I'm up to 12 now of whatever that currency is. I, I forget the... God, this level. And I'm doing it without... Any real up 
tower upgrades. This bodes poorly. To say the least. Okay, next tower. Okay, so everything's just kind of filtering through here for right now. So we should be getting, yep, right through here next. Then we'll get some coming up this path. It's attack of geometry. It's. I feel really stupid calling them triangles. Enemies? I don't really know what to call them. Okay, yeah, feel way better now. Uh, yep, that all looks well and good. I think we have enough defenses. Well, if we don't, not a lot about it. Not a lot I can do about it right now. Oof. That was kind of a short run. Um. Okay. That was damn unfortunate. But, um. Well, I can afford... No, I'm going to save my money for... I'm going to save these antimatter stuff for something better. Wow! I can't believe we went through, like, three levels there without an upgrade. Okay. Try this one more time. Hopefully we get a decent tower upgrade. Oh, boy. Well, let's think about this here. It's kind of too early to really discuss about what upgrades I want. Any upgrade. I want any upgrade that I can get at this point. But what would I like to see ideally? Well, projectile speed would be good. Just straight up tower damage. I think that's really what carried us through last, uh, last game. Uh, I'd also like to see a radius increase would be lovely. Oh, these all kind of suck. Okay. So I have three common rewards here. Which one would deal the least amount of damage to my run long term? I want to... Fire, fire rate and firepower. Okay, so I think I would like to do Fire Rate as my common upgrade. Because I feel like if we amp up our firepower enough, it's not going to matter how slow we fire. If it hits like a truck, we don't need the truck to hit more than once. I will take the minimal amount of uh, Fire Rate increase here. Oh, that was kind of a really shitty first uh, first roll on the ability. First roll on the first pass on the abilities. I swear there is a point where we can reroll because I've seen an achievement for it, but I don't know when that point is when we can start rolling. I'm hoping that eventually, just on some run, will the weird professor triangle or uh, the weird professor dude who we do the research with will just give it to me. That's where I got this predictor from. And a lot of other... Yeah, that's where I got the predictor from. I'm hoping it's just an upgrade that I'll get. As, you know, getting all kind of... All common upgrades right there kind of sucks. Oh, God. Um... Cost is the next thing that we can mitigate. Shoot, I am getting really bad rolls. I guess I used up all my luck on the last level? What about... I wonder if that's a mechanic in the game, where you run after your first win, they just give you, like, really shitty RNG. That could be a thing. Although I don't know how much... I... 
Nah, that doesn't make sense that it would do that. That'd be like punishing you for being good. And being punished for being good is kind of sh would be a really shitty thing to do. I do have my shield upgrades, right? Yeah, I do have my additional shield damage upgrades. I'd be really curious, because those researches that I do don't really appear up here. It'd be kind of nice if we got some confirmation that... Oh, fire rate isn't quite so bad. I will take an uncommon projectile speed. Ooh, um... Meta progress. Meta progress, please. Alright, that's looking fine. There. I feel like I pretty much have the flow of this game on, on lock, you know? I'm not guaranteeing that every run I do is going to be a win, but, you know, I feel like most runs going forward from here on out, now that I kind of get it, will uh, hopefully be going a lot smoother. Uh, shop? I don't have enough for a shop. I will take the tower upgrade. So, what do I think this game does good? I think this game does a lot of things good. Um, the art style is definitely really good. Uh, you know, the premise is pretty is pretty neat. Um, I am definitely a sucker for a good roguelike. Roguelike? Roguelike? Roguelite? I think this is a roguelite. And, uh, you know, there does seem to be meaning... There does... Ooh. Yes, please. Legendary shield damage. Oh, my. And there, I do feel like there is meaningful progress. However, you know, I, it, it seems like the meaningful progress is kind of locked behind story, not necessarily how well you do in a run. Like, the progress is made from how many runs you've done as opposed to the success of those runs. So, like, the predictor and things that I got, and uh, I, I feel like after just so many runs, they give it to you. Not, oh, you've advanced this far, here, have this cool thing. So I feel like that could be something different that they do to, to mix it up. Okay, something weird just happened there for me. Also, I kind of feel like the those tower buffs that you can get, like the chain damage that carried us through the last level. Like, I feel like the neg that those having negatives is kind of not necessarily harsh, but a little unbalanced. Like the it's a pretty substantial negative that it gives you to tap into that power. And I and I feel like that's not like big negatives to use those abilities. I don't feel like that's necessary. Although I feel like I'm not dealing enough damage here. Come on, stop hitting me. Thank you. Okay, now I'm starting to get worried. I've taken a lot of damage here. Projectile speed, and I've gotten kind of shitty rewards. I think we're coming up on a shop soon, and this could be a pretty impactful shop for us. Uh, up there. I feel like the shop is going to be where we are. We make or break this run. really feel like I am not, like, hitting these towers at all for... I really feel like I am kind of nerfed right now. Oh my god, they bypassed these towers entirely. Uh-oh. Where's my build tool? There we go. Let's kill one of them. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Build there. There, just in case. Build build here just in case. Solid. The big enemies don't worry me that much. They're so slow that 
You know, as long as I've placed C, shop right there. Uh, extra life. Scraps of ant. Oh. I bought the wrong thing. I think we're pretty much dead to this boss. I hate to admit it, but I think this is going to be a shorter run. Yeah, I, I think we're pretty much dead to this boss. I did not get, like, super good upgrades. Or the upgrades that I think I needed to succeed. And we're already kind of leaking through here, so I... I'm not saying that I'm writing off this run, but I'm kind of writing off this run. Like, this is just a dud. Yeah, this this run's kind of was kind of a dud. A good meta progress, but not much else than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a little disappointed by our RNG on that one. Like, we got really shitty upgrades, and we don't have the ability to re-roll those yet. Well, at least I completed another research. Uh, let's do small enemies next. And the shop. I got 16 of this stuff. Anything good? Ah, hell. We'll take the best armor. Why not? And, well, oh, let's, hell, let's do one more run. All right, uh, let's make it a good one here. Let's at least get past the first boss. God, it's so embarrassing. I can't believe all uncommon rewards on like the first roll. But it's good to know that if you get an, if you get a, I'm sorry, all common rolls on the first roll. But it it's, makes me feel good to know that at least if we do like attack speed or something, it's not quite as, you know, there's still a pretty good upgrade. You still get a pretty good upgrade percentage per level. God, I love that I have the ability to fast forward. That just makes this whole thing go so much faster. You, know, you can get into the meat and potatoes of the run. All right, good tower upgrades. What do we got? Oh, an uncommon fire rate. I will take it because it is the best thing I got right now. Let's go, boys. I would really like an uncommon tower cost reduction. I think uh, that would be pretty valuable moving forward. Uh, I, uncommon radius and uncommon tower cost upgrades are, are very good. Uh, the radius, again, it makes your... Oh, my goodness. Um... Legendary firepower, legendary projectile speed? Oh god, this is a tough choice. Um, well, okay. We have a projectile speed deficiency to overcome, and that's going to hurt us when we start getting the small shielded enemies. I'm going to take the legendary projectile speed increase. Which is a good thing I did, because this level is stupid with the fast enemies. So 21%, 60, so that leaves us with uh, still a 39%... Uh, slower bullet, but hopefully that doesn't bite us. Come back to bite us. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a good thing, yeah. But this level is notorious for having a lot of fast enemies. At least in my mind, it's notorious. I, I don't know how many people play the game, but in my mind, this level is notorious for having super fast enemies. I wish the devs would have a Discord for this, where I could go and, like... Ooh. See a legendary firepower? Take a legendary firepower. How do I feel about this run so far? I have a legendary firepower, and I have a legendary projectile speed to work with. I... would like a little bit more meta progress. Yes, I would like just a little bit more meta progress this uh, this run. Now they're coming this way. Yeah. 
and my headset's going dead. That's fantastic. Alright, so these guys are going to be coming up through here, here, here. Let's resurrect that. Hang on, sorry, I'm plugging in my headset here. Uh, give me that one. That one. Hopefully that's enough to cause some harm. And it looks like it is. Now, everybody? Now it's all the fast assholes. I don't have chain damage yet for them. Did I take the best armor on low, on low health? I think I did. A shop or more... I'm gonna take more of that scrap resource. I don't remember which way these... Alright, they come... Both sides first. Okay. And then maybe one here to pick off any straggler. But yeah, I wish the devs had like a Discord or something to, you know, talk about, you know, uh, different previews and things, or uh, different uh, uh, different things that they have coming out, or different ideas with the with the community. Uh, you know, I, I did leave a good review on their web on their Steam page because I really do like this game. I think it's got a lot going for it, and the things that it's got going for it, I believe, definitely outweigh any sort of problems that the game might have, because it's still a brand new game, and uh, the roadmap that they kind of presented includes things like uh, a challenge mode, and uh, things to make your runs, uh, things to make the run hard. So like, uh, you get hit, the run's over, which I think is really interesting, and, and when the devs do do that update, I am definitely going to you know, give that a shot. Granted, hope by that time, hopefully I have a lot more uh, meta progress stored up. This is worrisome. I still don't have any sort of AoE. And I think that's hurting me right now. An AoE would be lovely this time of year. Firepower. There we go, an upgrade. Hopefully it's a good one. I'll take an AoE, I'll take a chain damage depending on what I have to overcome. Yeah, that increase in firepower definitely is helping a lot. We're even attacking over the wall. Now that just feels like cheating. Easy, piece of cake, no problem. We got this. Uh, Explode on death. Reduce firepower by 30. Area damage, fire rate reduced by 30. Burning damage. Firepower reduced by 30. Hmm. I feel like we're hardly hurting them. Fire rate? Projectile speed. Fire rate. We'll try and overcome the fire rate, then, I guess. I'm still shooting over 100%. Or I'm... Yeah, I could definitely... I'm already feeling the... Lack of fire rate, unfortunately. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Uh... Okay. It's still AoE, and AoE damage in this game is super valuable. But yeah, some more improvement to fire rate to overcome that is now kind of required. Or again. <gasps> Legendary cost, yes! And a shop! 
So first thing, I would like to... I think I can get everything here. I'm definitely going to get the tower upgrade first. Projectile speed? I think I gotta take the fire right here. But I have enough for some scraps of matter and some of uh, whatever that currency is that I can never remember the name of. Now my towers only cost 89. So let's see here. So fire rate is 41. Okay, so I definitely make up for the lack of fire rate. am able to make do with less, so to speak. So if I definitely misplace that tower. At least this side will definitely be secure, but... Oh, I can, uh, all right, solidify the defense there. Come on, there we go. All right, so now I feel like significantly less is going to get through, and now that I'm beating this guy into a pulp, it's all about just shoring up defenses. And all right, so uh, now we, we won. That was easy. Yes, we are doomed to eternal confrontation. We've covered this. This is a roguelike. That's the point. Ah, another victory. GG easy. I hope this was the last time. No, it isn't. I regret to inform you, we still got a lot more to go. Uh, can I escape past this? Nope, they won't let me pass this, so I'll just have to suck it up. I do kind of like the story, though. I, I wonder why these couple of factions are uh, warring with each other. So, yeah, warring with each other. I can't skip past this. Like, I I've seen it. I get it. Go! Go faster! Come on, boy! Go! Go, go, go! World of Emptiness, Titan Sanctuary. Indeed. Love these cheaper towers, man. Oh, still can't build. Really like it now to get some chain damage. I should just start taking chain damage as part of, like, my regularly scheduled run. shield damage doing? Do I have a shield damage upgrade yet? I don't think I do. Should look into doing that. Big projectile speed. What is my projectile speed now? So I've almost made up my lack of projectile speed. This is a very much good thing. A very much good thing. A very much good thing. My god, English man. Go to high school. Go to secondary school. Can barely English for the life of me. Legendary burning damage, a legendary freezing effect, and another and an upgrade to the AoE. Can't take the freezing damage, man. I can't. I'm just finally kind of made back my projectile speed. But at the same at the same time, this isn't super great either. Targets move 23% slower at the same time as the projectile speed is. So I have a legendary projectile speed. I can get this one upgrade of this, and I think I'll overcome. A reduction in projectile speed. And I think the AoE would pass the freezing damage on to other uh, 
multiple enemies. Maybe? Maybe it does that? Oh, the projectile speed is starting to hurt now. Yeah, I definitely need a projectile speed upgrade if I'm to stay relevant. Perfect. Uh, more tower upgrades. So this time... And I don't really know what I want to look for here. Oh, wow. That is doing pretty good damage, actually. Doing really good damage. I just need to be able to keep up with the faster moving enemies. Uh, how many shots is it taking to... I really think more projectile speed will not go amiss. I'm gonna figure this. So projectile speed is 89 minus 60. Uh, so let's see here, 89 minus 60, so that's 29. So I'm basically almost minus 1% projectile speed right now. Shield damage 20. That sounds fantastic. More tower upgrades, because 20, or because uh, I've done this map before. We'll take more tower upgrades because I'm still not feeling super confident in this in my towers yet. Although the slow ability to slow isn't really hurting that. What is the going rate on the tower? Still 689. I'd like to build another tower. Oh, what is that? F. And then tower. Really glad I took the additional shield damage. Really glad shield damage was like the first thing I decided to research. Because it's definitely coming in tight here. Ooh, an uncommon radius. That is pretty good. Yeah, because if I have more radius, that means that's... Or area that my guys can... Ooh, I didn't realize they could come from there. Uh-oh. That's a bit spooky. That was a little too spooky for me. Oh, wow. What's this? Uh... All right, but they're coming from where? I don't risk building that yet. That's gonna have to do. Alright, they're gonna have to come from here eventually, right? That's not just the red herring chilling out there? Sorry about that. That is my alarm for the laundry. Okay, here they come now. Okay, we got a good handle on this. Nice! GG, easy. So, projectile, so shield damage, I'm doing 35%. Projectile speed is 89. I'm still looking for... Firepower could... I'm still trying to overcome fire rate, but again, if you hit like a truck, uh, fire fire rate doesn't matter. Yeah, if you hit like a truck, you're... how hard you hit them doesn't matter. That's a little nerve-wracking. That was a little very much nerve-wracking. Shield damage not 
kicking in quite as hard as I would have hoped. Still damage has to be kicking in. I'm not doing reduced shield damage anywhere. I've got 35%. Spell speed cost fire rate. Projectile speed. I want I want a positive projectile speed. Oh, long time no see. Yes, sorry I haven't found any of your dogs. Yes, uh, you're still looking for your pets, and I'm sorry. I haven't seen them. Sorry. Um, shield damage, projectile speed, shield damage I'm gonna go with. Good shop! Yes, hello again, asshole. I, I don't know. It's the plot. The plot's driving me here. Come on, let's just go back to killing each other. You have no respect for me, I have no respect for you. I'm doing a lot of damage to shields, actually. Is it overflowing into their health pool? Am I overkilling their shields to the point where I'm... Ooh. Okay, what's going wrong here? Why was so much stuff leaking through? Am I not hitting hard enough? I could just not be hitting hard enough right now. I'm getting a little worried by this now. What is my firepower? Only 89%. And I don't think anything's reducing it. Alright. Too many are leaking through here. I don't have an extra life. He's almost dead. Oh, I'm not feeling quite as much of a dominant force as I did last time. I don't feel like the slow is very impactful. There's no time to rest. I need to act. Yes, the darkness recedes and I go after it. I am going to be shocked if we make it to the final boss, actually. I'm not feeling as good as I did before. But somehow we made it to Act 3 by what seems like the skin of our teeth. Um, I think my turrets are cheap enough. But I think my turrets just need to hit harder. I think that's what it's coming down to at this point, is they just need to hit harder. Uh, projectile speed seems fine. Maybe the fire rate could use some boosting, uh, but again, kind of the... It's kind of the argument that I made before, where if you just hit like a tank, there's no need to hit it a second time. Uh, there, there, there. Make it so that that hits now. Ooh, some more scraps. Actually, I say ooh, more scraps, but more scraps can only be a good thing for us. I guess the slow is pretty decent, but... Could be better, I think. I don't know. I'm kind of... I kind of flip-flop on... I, it seems like I flip-flop a lot. And I don't know why that is. Alright, what do we got? More cost reduction, more projectile speed, more fire rate. 
I feel like our projectiles are fast enough. Ooh. Fire improvement. Firing fast would be okay. I'm, I'm gonna take another cost reduction. The reason why that is, is for the final boss, there's all that space to build. So it it seems reason it seems reasonable that we would want to build we would want towers as cheap ooh, 84. We would want towers as cheap as possible, but we can just spam them all over the place. Uh, anything else? Uh, any other spots to build? Yeah, there. Okay, and now they're coming from the bottom there. There we go. That uh, additional radius is really, really nice. What's the big upgrades I'm looking for now? Honestly, I think damage, but I would want to reevaluate what our negative traits are to uh, make a more accurate. Fire rate ain't good, projectile speed are the two big ones that we're losing. But I think I've more than made up for the projectile speed. The Fire rate, though. Oh, projectile speed, fire rate. What is my present fire rate? Air radius, freezing. Fire rate, 41. Okay, not the best, but still okay. Firepower. Perfect. Um, more tower improvements. Let's see if we can't uh, continue to turn this around. 121% firepower. Beautiful. <clears throat> Throw one more there. What the hell? I'm feeling a little uh, spontaneous. I actually don't know if that's going to be able to... Oh, it is going to be able to hit things. Is there a... There is a better spot there. Uh, I bet things are going to start coming from over here next, so... Yes, they are indeed. We just have to stop them from doing that. Yeah, the AoE is... Without... I feel like with chain damage, not having chain damage kind of sucks. More shield damage, but more firepower. Projectile speed, more firepower. A uh, shop? I'm not feeling good about a shop. We've only got 104 uh, currency to work with, and I don't feel like that's very much. No, there's not a lot of places I can bring up new tower spots, so I'll just kind of be content with what I got. So I just thought of this. If the if the AoE is all about dealing a percentage of damage to an area, it would make more it would make a lot more sense to increase firepower to reflect a greater percentage of damage across multiple enemies. In my head that makes sense, but Any more turret spots? Yes. I am full up on turret spots now. 46. Ooh. Ooh! These could just straight up cost me 80? Yes, he said. Convent. Not entirely sure that that was a good idea. Where are you coming from, my friends? There. Ooh, they're coming up from there now, too. I need fences up there. There we go. That's at least something. Need to load more front damage on the back end, on the front end, so that I don't have to worry as much Okay. 
Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Perfectly fine. A uh, radius and let's do some more radius. I feel like we got cheap enough towers. Wow, look at that radius, man. That is a thing of beauty. Such cheap towers, too. Man, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, build me there. And give me that spot, too. I want one more here. So we might be doing okay without the chain damage, but I would still feel better with chain damage than without chain damage. I think chain damage is by far the best upgrade in here. More firepower, I think, would be lovely. Asking ye shall receive, I guess. Ooh. That could be good, but that could also dick us over real hard. I'm gonna pass on the. I'm gonna pass on that. Now that uh, the negatives could be too bad from whatever we pick up, that we just never overcome it. Okay, looking fine so far. This uh, range increase is definitely pretty, pretty all right. Um, I think that'll definitely be handy on the final boss. Cheap towers with a uh, stupid range. I don't see how that could possibly go wrong. So far, so smooth. Fire rate, more shield damage. I think our shield damage is okay. Extra life, more scraps of matter, one more, one last upgrade. And I'm gonna take the really big radius. And let's hope. You want to go further? Yes. Show me what you are capable of. Still don't know whether I'm supposed to take what, what he's saying as, like, friendly banter or not. Oh, I've already done a pretty good chunk of damage to him there. Alright, so that'll do it for a little more gold, guys. A little more gold, a little bit more. Come on, get me to the magic number. Okay, we're leaking. But I do have that extra life. Alright, that should pretty well close out the gap. If. Too much is leaking. Oh, they went down a path I wasn't expecting. We got this. No! Oh, you stupid, stupid, stupid boss. Wow. We won. Huh. So here I am again. Will I be able to break through the border of darkness? No, you won't. I think we still got a few more times we got to break through here. We'll be able to crack it again, but we won't be able to beat it. Okay, so two episodes with two wins in a row. This feels pretty good. The expedition is over. Indeed.
So let's hit the darkness again r once real hard and pray, I guess? So we should just kind of bounce off again. But we cracked it one more time. Come on, push it. So that's all the further that... All right. It's interesting we don't see the darkness crawl back. Uh, does anybody have anything interesting to say? Um, it's time for a frank conversation. In fact, you really... In fact, you really did die every time. We simply recreated a new body for you and loaded a mold of your consciousness into it? Slightly altered memory so that it seems like you return were returning on your own. Unfortunately, after you entered the darkness, the connection with you was lost. We have no record of what happened on the other side. Really died there? I feel like this dialogue is happening one or two times too early. Yeah, I feel like this dialogue is happening one too early. Yeah, this, this dialogue happened, like, one too early. But let's look at the shop. What do we got? Uh, extra shards? Extra healing? Eh. Underwhelming, I guess. Ooh, researches. Uh, transfer data. Claim my reward. Awesome. A well-deserved reward. Uh, keep researching, I guess. Well, as you can see, we beat another run. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching, and next time, we'll do it again. See ya.